it's a cold day in South Florida. It's 55, which means it's gonna feel like 45 on the road. So we got our gloves, our jackets, we're layered up, we're ready to go. We're off to Everglades City to go to, what was the name of the that? The Smallwood. Store? Smallwood store, haunted store. Apparently. Um, apparently. And we're gonna have a good time today. So follow us along. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Dry season. But this season is up here. Right now. It is. Water is extremely high. Let me tell you a little bit about this store. It was completely amazing. 
It took me back in time, even though I wasn't born during that era. But anyways, I totally wish I had more time to look at everything and, and read all the stories. There were just so many artifacts to look at. I absolutely loved it. I'm not really a history junkie at all, but I do love to learn about anything that happened in the past, specifically if I'm standing in the exact location. Or maybe even if there's perhaps spirits lingering? The Smallwood store is one of Florida's last frontiers, and the store was established in 1906 by Ted Smallwood, and it served as a trading post. The store is still owned by Ted's family today. Well, the funny thing is that Tim said, as he was walking around the store, there were more and more familiar items to him. Come on, Tim, you're not that old. Maybe you've heard of Edgar Watson. He was also known as Ed Bloody Watson. He was an outlaw. He came to Chukaluski in the early 1900s. Uh, and he was also an outlaw with the Jesse James gang, and he killed Belle Starr. She was called the Bandit Queen of the Old West. It was said that Watson had killed as many as 57 people. Come on, Watson, what are you thinking? So Watson would hire fugitives and drifters without any families to work on his sugarcane farm. And on payday, he would kill them and he would throw their bodies in the bay behind his home. So the townspeople of Chakalaski, they decided to do something about Mr. Watson and his behavior. So on October 24, 1910, the townspeople were waiting for Mr. Watson to arrive by boat uh, right at the Smallwood store. There's a little beach on the side and when he got there, some words were exchanged and Watson was the one that fired first. He fired his shotgun. However, it misfired. The Smallwood store had gone through a storm. I believe it was a hurricane. So everything got wet. So did the shells. He actually bought those shells from that store. So when it misfired, ah, the people weren't happy. They shot him back. They shot him 33 times. So no one really knows who killed Mr. Watson. There has been reports of visitors from the past seen in the store. I didn't see anything. Uh, Joe didn't see anything. We didn't feel anything. But I did have a sense of excitement just simply being in that store and just looking at everything. So if you like history, if you like to look at these artifacts and like to read uh, stories, then come to the Smallwood store. <laughs>